Okay, we are here with one of my favorite people. I came to London only to see her. It's oh. Hannah Wilkes of Sky Sports and all sorts of other sports. Billiards and I don't even know. What other sports Anything do you cover? Anything Sky does, I will basically go where asked. NFL, netball, which is a bit like basketball, but predominantly played by women. Billiards, we call it pool. Cricket. Mm-hmm. The cricket this summer. I'll you're do anything. The, you're the queen of the NFL in the UK. We are According honored to, to have you here. To K. No, we're so excited to have you. You were emceeing the entire fan fest. You were at the game. What are the things that you're looking forward to the most for Tottenham's round two with the Ravens and the Titans? Oh, wow, that's a really hard one because it's kind of been like Christmas has come early for NFL fans in the UK having had three games or having three games here this year. Um, so going into the final one, I mean, I'm really excited personally because it's our game on Sky Sports. So we've got a huge hour and a half build-up show in and around the stadium. There's like cast of thousands of us. So that's going to be really fun. Um, but also as well, I just always love these games are such a celebration of the sport. Like the Bills-Jags game on Sunday did feel like a Bills home game. It was amazing. It was incredible. Bills Mafia were out in force. And I'm interested to see what the sort of makeup of fans for the Ravens and Titans is. I know okay. some Okay, Ravens fans are very excited as well, but so often we see jerseys from all 32 teams at these games. Um, so it's just a big celebration and party of the sport. Everyone loves having it over here. Have you seen it grow game to game, year to year? We talked about that. The Fan Fest was like twice the size. Yeah, oh my goodness. I even think back. So the reason I fell in love with the NFL was a London game. It was back in 2011. I'd never seen the sport before. This was when we only had one game a year yeah. and I don't even think they were sellouts then it was a game at Wembley and you look back on it now and you see just the sheer number of games the number of fans the passion the knowledge all of it and then the fan fest is something else entirely there were tens of thousands of fans at Battersea Power Station on Saturday um, and I think we got some new ones as well people just wandering through the growth has been unbelievable over the last decade or so and it is it's phenomenal to be a part of and, and to witness up close and personal it's amazing i think we're gonna say bye to the FanDuel tv part but let's keep the youtube of our show going so we can get some of these clips out anything else you want to get out there so you'll be part of that pre-game show yeah of course the hour and a half build up it's on sky sports i didn't know that i'm very excited anything else you want to point out about the experience of the international games because it's i mean you went from one game to three and yeah. it's kind of a lot it's kind of like it's kind of dizzying i know there's some people that are very tired already but the sheer love of it keeps you going I think just generally just the growth of the game internationally is huge because straight off the back of having these three games here in London we've got two games out in Germany next month which is absolutely huge the commission has already been talking about new territories and where you know that there might even be another international game on the schedule Ooh, a tease from Hannah Wilkes Um, yeah no he said it Roger Goodell said it that's not me (laughs) I didn't listen to you Roger I only get my info from (laughs) Hannah Wilkes with Sky Sports guys check her out over on Sky with everything she is one of the best and I've, I'm lucky to know you. So, uh, guys, check it out, and we will see you tomorrow on Up and Adams. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.